I'm Ashley Dietrich and I'm here with Luna Lobos to do some dog sledding today. Some say that dog sledding started in the 10th century when sleds were used to transport goods to remote areas that were otherwise inaccessible. In fact, until snowmobiles became reliable, sled dogs were used to deliver mail to rural communities in Alaska and northern Canada. How cool is that? Let's go meet Fernando Ramirez, the owner of Luna Lobos, and learn a little bit more about his dogs. Hey, Fernando, thanks so much for having us today. Yeah, no problem. Glad you guys could come out. So can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah, sure. Uh, we, we actually were Luna Lobos dog sledding and uh, do anything from, you know, family trips to half hour, or excuse me, half day trips. And so there's a lot of variants that we, you could do out here with us. And it's, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. Well, it looks like a lot of fun. And we can see that you have a lot of different breeds of dogs. Is there a certain breed that's more capable to run in these kind of trails? We do. We have we have what's called the Alaskan Husky. It's kind of like a like a like a manufactured breed. Kind of the Alaskans came up with the Alaskan Husky. It's more uh, it can endure the longer distances a lot better than the purebreds can. So a lot of you know I've been blessed to get dogs that have run Iditarod and uh, and am among other top top races around the country. So um, so yeah, I've been. It's awesome to, to see them at work. So how many dogs do you have and what's the age range? Uh, we have uh, about, I want to say about 18, 19 dogs and um, age range can be, we have some puppies that are running um, just kind of leisurely right now. They're the youngest, they're about eight, nine months and then to 10 years old even. So actually one of my lead dogs is a 10 year old dog that's led, you know, a few Iditarod teams. So it's just kind of funny to see her just so amped up and excited to, to run and, and, and go to work, you know. So what kind of an experience can people expect with Luna Lobos? Um, a great one, you know, we, we love to really cater and our biggest focus is to really show, you know, people that come out that the, that the dogs really love to do this. You know, it's not, it's not a painful thing where, you know, they have to pull you up this hill or anything. Um, in fact, you know they, they, they pretty much go the same speed if if I'm on, if it's just me on the sled or if I have two people with me on the sled. You know they they go at the same pace. They love to run and uh, and we just kind of want to share the sport with everyone. You know we live in a great location where practically anyone can get you know at least a couple of dogs, maybe three dogs, and a little sled and go out into the trails and have a good time out there. What's the best way that people can learn about your company? Um, we actually, you can go to our website, lunalobos.com. Uh, you can contact us through there and uh, we, we like to answer any kind of questions that some people have or even how to get started. You know, when I was a kid, I just kind of put a, a plastic table and some skis and some PVC pipe and I had a yellow lab to pull me around. So yeah, I mean, I wish I kind of had more of a, more resources to go to. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to get on a sled, so let's go. All right. Sounds good. If you're looking for an activity that will create lifelong memories, book a trip with Luna Lobos today. I'm Ashley Dietrich and I'll see you outdoors.